Eileen here in Medjugorje, I'm with what's your name? Eileen Felden. And where are you from? I'm from Donegal in Ireland, but I live in Castlebar, County Mayo. And you said you came often to Medjugorje, no? how often did I you came come? seven or eight times, I think. Seven or eight times? Yes. Why did you come back all the time? Uh, the first time I came, yeah. I felt the peace, yeah. real, the peace that I never got in my life, mm -hmm. ever. And it was, uh, I was called here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I never knew what a calling was before that. Yeah. But I, kn I knew when I heard, uh -huh. I was actually working in the hospital yeah. on the ward with a lady called Maureen Calvey, yeah. whom you may know, she, was, she came to Medjugorje many times. Mm -hmm. And we were making beds, you know, just finishing up her work mm -hmm. before, din before the patients got their dinner. Mm -hmm. So I was rushing her, but mm -hmm. she was talking about Medjugorje. Mm -hmm. Oh, she couldn't stop talking about it. Mm -hmm. And I had no interest because I didn't know where it was. I didn't know. I couldn't visualize, you mm. know. And, and, and then she just said, and when I went into Father Slavko's house, mm. and there was a picture of our blessed mother on the wall. This is what she told me. And there was real tears coming out of her eyes. Mm. And right then, it just hit me. And I said, how could that be? Like, And I couldn't. Yeah, I wanted to go there, mm -hmm. just like that. And when then was that again? Which year? Oh, I think it may have been maybe 2008. I can't mm -hmm. remember exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but when when I was going to my husband the mm -hmm. next day mm -hmm. to bring his lunch, he mm -hmm. forgot his lunch, and he's a pla he was working on the plastering walls mm -hmm. outside Castle Bar. Mm -hmm. And when I was going to radio, the radio on the car was on. And out very loud, I heard two seats left for Medjugorje trip. Mm. And I went in, gave him his lunch, and I said, how would you like to go to Medjugorje, Pat? Mm -hmm. And he said, if there's sea and sand and sun, I'll go. And, and I, said, I, I said, I think so. <laughs> I didn't want to go for that reason. Yeah. I knew there was something more beautiful, yeah. more heavenly, and uh -huh. more special. Uh -huh. Even before I went, I kind of from what Maur Maureen told me, uh -huh. it had a big impression. Uh -huh. And when I got here then, yeah. What happened when you came? When I came, I just couldn't get over the peace that came into my soul. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really, it was powerful. That's how it is, you know? Yeah. Even now, you know, I was in Malta, I came back, and I, in the morning I walked down the street here again, I said, something special here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even if you live here, you're like, something special here. Yeah. yeah. The peace. Mm -hmm. And how often did you come back then? I think seven or eight. Seven I think eight. this is the eighth time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what happened to you all these years coming back? Did you change? Uh, oh yes. I mean, I I heard about the five stones the first year, you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I tried to to live to them. Live them. Mm -hmm. um, I would have always been, you know, on my face, mm -hmm. and um, I would have. Uh, you know, I've never, I never stopped going to mass on Sundays, mm -hmm. but you know, more and more I wanted to go to mass. Mm -hmm. And you know, now, over the years, like and now, I have retired from work in the last three years, so I go daily. Mm -hmm. And um, and you know, like I've I've seen the blessings that God gives us if we live. The, the, the five, stone. five stones that our lady has, you know. So let's say it's it's like Bible reading, Bible fasting, reading. confession, mm -hmm. praying from the heart, the rosary, and yeah. holy mass. Yes, yeah. and the, the Bible reading came from a retreat that was at Knock. Mm -hmm. We always went to, to a silent retreat for a week. Mm -hmm. And you said you were with Father Bell in Knock, and he talked about yeah uh, about he Bible. Was an Indian yeah. uh, preacher. Mm -hmm who got his heart healed uh, when he was he had a heart attack uh -huh. when he was 48 uh -huh. and it was healed uh, by Jesus and the provincials mm -hmm. in India wouldn't let him go preaching he wanted to thank God by mm -hmm. preaching and spreading the good news mm -hmm. and he asked him to let him go claim him be mm -hmm. healed mm -hmm. and prove mm -hmm. when he got his ECG that his heart had been healed mm -hmm. so it was mm -hmm. 
Okay. And he was a priest already at the time? He was a priest, priest. yes. And then he asked mm -hmm. his superior that he could travel about yes, to preach? he traveled the world and he mm -hmm. came to Ireland maybe two or three times a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was there that I had no, when I opened the Bible, I didn't know, I didn't, I couldn't read. Mm -hmm. I wasn't very good at school. Mm -hmm. Like, a, you know, I was, <laughs> I was out playing camogie, Spots. the sport. Uh -huh. and, Which uh, spot you did? Camogie, like okay. early. Uh -huh. And... Uh, I didn't really have any interest because, you know, I was being compared with uh, an older sister that was very clever. Uh -huh. So um, when I opened it, I said, I won't be able to read this. Uh -huh. But, you know, the next day, it was just so clear to me. Uh -huh. You know, the word of God was, um, was so powerful. And, um, and Jim Brown, now I go to his prayer meetings. Great guy, huh? great yeah, guy of great God. Guy. And we were really miss him. We yeah. wanted him to come out, yeah. and he didn't get here. But he's, you know, getting all the the prayers and the masses. He's probably getting. We greet him, no, Tim. We are greeting you, praying for you. <laughs> yeah. And um, since that, he, you know, he teaches us uh, uh, scripture uh -huh. very powerfully. The teachings, teachings about you know. Mm. What God wants, and you know, also to do I, God's will in our lives. Amen. How do you do God's will in your life? Oh well, I just pray in the morning when yeah. I get up. Uh, mm -hmm. I say, you know, God, like I, I would do my morning offering. Mm -hmm. I just offer up mm -hmm. my your my day. life and my will. If I, I, but like, how many times I fall mm -hmm. every day? Mm -hmm. Because you know, and God picks me up, and you know, mm -hmm. he like. It's not easy sometimes. I yeah. have a family of seven, and you know, some are in the face, some, mm -hmm. some are not. And, mm -hmm. and we just, you know, pray for each other. For each other and, you know, I see that I'm coming from a big family. There's always something, yes. always yeah. something. Yeah. No? We just, it's a great opportunity to come to Medjugorje and, and have, you know, masses offered for them and that. Yeah, that's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Tell me yeah. something too, what I should do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. you, you see, you learned me again something no. so that I should not forget this to I offer masses. Well. I don't think you will, Tom. That's beautiful. And you know, a lot of people, he, confession is so important here. They go to confession, but first they are scared. What would mm -hmm. you tell? What is the beauty of confession? I was a little bit scared of confession, you know, mm -hmm. when I was younger. Like, um, do you, I'd be going on, I wouldn't really know, but, mm -hmm. but I got a, a very great healing mm -hmm. um, from unforgiveness or kind of holding the grudges. Yeah. And it was also in, with the same priest and knock, and uh, it was an inner healing day at the end of yeah. the retreat. And I went and I, I, it was, I won't go into the big long story, sure. but I know God just lifted it all my burdens and you know I never held on to anything after hallelujah it's so powerful like yes we as Catholics mm -hmm. have such a great um, grace in, you know getting rid of all our sins and, and, and asking God for his forgiveness and being mm -hmm. truly sorry and not wanting when you see what happened on the passion and what our, our Jesus went through for us mm -hmm. like and then we can go on and leave our burdens behind us mm -hmm. and just start afresh. It's, it's a wonderful grace. Amen. Unbelievable what you say. So beautiful. Mm -hmm. You pray the rosary? Yeah. yeah. What's so I beautiful for you? I thank my husband for that. Because, no, I always, we always prayed the rosary as, you know, at home. Mm -hmm. my, my daddy had two sisters and the poor Claire, so mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they kept it up. And But I have to say, my husband kept it up with us over the years, you know, even though the children Mm -hmm. When they were bigger than join us, we mm -hmm. still say it every, you know. Every wow. Night. And, and sometimes we, I do um, a thing around the hospital, you know, mm -hmm. like um, against prayers, three mm -hmm. rosaries mm -hmm. against abortion, you know, mm -hmm. against the killing of the unborn, which has come into Ireland, you know, with the referendum. And mm -hmm. we walk around the circumference of the hospital on the first Friday or Good. first Saturday. Beautiful. So. The rosaries, yeah, they're very powerful. Like our lady is encouraging. You know, she's she's working on through us. You know, we we pray through our Blessed Mother to Jesus, to God, yeah. to God yeah. Jesus, yeah. 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 That's for our Protestant friend that they understand what we do. That being Mary is not a goddess. No, she is the the perfect yeah. example of our faith. No, yeah. how to live. Yeah. She's a motherly yeah. figure in our lives. Amen. So beautiful. Yeah. And um, how long are you married? 
Uh, 45 years. Wow, congratulations. Thank you. And what would you tell young people? There's so much struggle now in marriage. What is the secret? How, how to stay, stick together 45 years? Mm, I would know that marriage is a sacrament like when I was young and I would, even though you go through the ups and downs, mm -hmm. you know, it's something that you, you it's, a, it's like a covenant and, mm -hmm. you know, you keep it, it's... It's not, you cannot just be, you know, if you get annoyed someday, you know, you can walk away. Like, it's something you have to work at and and discuss things through. And, you know, um, the a love between a, a couple is mm. the main thing that keeps them together, I think. You know? It's a love, it's, no? It, the, if you have love in your heart for somebody, it might annoy you. <laughs> or I might annoy them, but <laughs> it's... Uh, you know, it's it's um, a core ingredient, let's say, you uh -huh. know, for for a happy marriage. I think, and children are a great blessing. My firstborn mm -hmm. was um, born with uh, autistic traits. Mm -hmm. You know, and wasn't discovered until he was about four years. But I was told you shouldn't have any more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you know, I didn't listen. I said, whatever God's willing to give me, you know, mm -hmm. it's God's gift to us, you know, yeah. his creation. You know, you can't just pick and choose what you want, from my, you know, so thank God. You have so seven, no? And the same boy is well able, you know, uh -huh. grew up and well able, you know, thanks uh -huh. be to God. Thanks be, be to be God. Amen. With very little speech. And now can't stop. <laughs> wow, I'm really so beautiful yeah, what you yeah, say. Thank God. So seven children in total now. Yeah, five boys and two girls. Beautiful. Yeah, thank you. And what and would five, you and yeah? eight grandchildren. Eight grandchildren, congratulations. <laughs> yeah. And what would you tell now your younger self? You are you lived quite some time and now what would you tell your younger self eighteen? Would what would you give as an advice to them? Youngest? Yeah. No, uh, you, to yourself. If you would be 18 now. If I was 18 What now, would you tell yourself? Oh, I, would, I would think I would discern well. Yeah. Do you know what? I, like, I think you have to take time. And I think prayer is very important. Um, things that I wouldn't have known maybe mm -hmm. when I was young. But if one pray, like, if one prays, I think I would pray for us. Uh, a spouse, you know, mm -hmm. that the Holy Spirit might inspire me, you know, yeah. towards, and um, to ask God for, you know, a good Catholic uh, marriage man and, and man, yeah, yeah, a woman, yeah, and uh, you know, and, yeah. and that we would be maybe d discuss things before, you know, like um, how we would re bring up our children or how. Um, you would have ma you know the mass like would be very important and all that and um, beautiful why, why, to yeah. live a good Catholic life and uh, yeah. abide by the Ten Commandments and everything mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know wow powerful just, I don't really know it's I, beautiful I what you the say. best to give advice like because we would have our ups and downs you know yeah that's uh, part of life no it's part of part life, part of life. Yeah. and what is the beauty then of Holy Mass. It's the summit of our faith. What is what is it for you? The beauty of the Holy Mass, the Eucharist. It's a, it's a, it's a consecration. It's a body and blood, soul and divinity of mm -hmm. our Lord Jesus Christ that is left mm -hmm. for us, and um, to receive Jesus mm -hmm. into our hearts, it's a, it sets us up for the day. Do you mm -hmm. know? Like it's it's um, it, it keeps you strong in your faith. I think during COVID, people didn't go to Mass and were watching it online. They weren't receiving communion, Jesus's body. body and blood. Yeah. And, you know, although it, it, it probably kept them going to going. see it. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. And thank God for the holy priests out here. Like, it's, it's, it's so different out here. And Father Brandon Kilcoyne spoke about it. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, like he, you know, the homily, he 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 told us that in Ireland like, we don't get the the gospel as you know preached, uh, you know, as it should. 
you know, we're not getting the real <laughs> bread and potatoes, you call it, or potatoes and butter. Mm -hmm. it, it, it compared it to, it's, um, yes, a bit, yes, I, it's getting, you know, the communism is coming on. Mm -hmm. Like we've seen it way back 30 years ago when I was working on the, in the, in the bars, mm -hmm. taking down the crucifixes way back then. Mm -hmm. I had to rescue some of the, the statues at the time on the crucifix. You know, to keep them, to hide them until such time as we could put them up again. Yeah. Yes. But Our Lady is gentle. She brings the people here. She gives her peace. Now, like you said, you found peace here. Same did I found, find a lot of peace here. Mm -hmm. And she shows the beauty of God the Father, no? Yeah. Can you describe a bit? A lot of people think God the Father is an angry old man with a white beard who wants to judge us and put us to hell. And he's not like that. Mm -hmm. How is God the Father? Well... Maybe I didn't have a very clear view, you know, when I was young. Mm -hmm. But when you see what he is given, for, he's given as his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he spared Abraham way back in the Old Testament. Um, Isaac. Yeah, yeah, Isaac. And, you know, let him use a ram or whatever he found across a the ram, road. yeah. Yeah, and, and yet he's given us. His only begotten son, and there's no, you know, there's no greater sacrifice, and he he has to be full of mercy and full of love, and you know he he, he wants us all to come home to eternity with him, and I hope someday we do. Yes, that we all, me too. That's the, the yeah, goal we have as Catholic. Goal we have. Yeah. yeah, people don't understand. It can be finished easy. My brother died doing sleeping last year. He didn't know that the day before we talked. He didn't know. We need to be ready, well confessed in a state of grace, yeah. and f living honestly, authentically, you know. Yeah. And, and the divine mercy, like it, Jesus pours out his mercy to us, you know, on our death. If we, yeah. if we even pray the divine mercy for somebody else, it's not. Mm -hmm. You know, he's promised to St. Faustina that, you know, he'll be a merciful judge, that he will stand between the person is dying and God the Father. Yeah. And, you know, this. But we have to believe it, you know. Yeah. A lot of people don't know their identity. We are beloved children. It took me a long time to understand I am a mm. beloved child. I'm lovable, yeah. worthy to be loved, you know. And pe I mean, a lot of people yeah. don't understand this. Yeah, I have the strange feeling now. Yeah. We weren't really loved. Yeah. So, I mean, in your own family, yes. But, you know, in the, in the schools, like, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of that was kind of sh has shaped us, yeah. you know, and um, sometimes none. They were, they were, you know, they wouldn't have been as merciful as, you know, maybe we, we would have hoped. Yeah. Um, but th th this is this is human. We all yeah. make mistakes. Yes. We all make the mistakes. No, yeah. and who doesn't have a st throws the stones who didn't make a fault? That's right. You right. Know? Wow. Yeah. Has, and, and I went up to God rest fun for Leary. I don't know if you knew him. He was mm -hmm. he had a little grotto under Blue Cross. Mm -hmm. And um, one time I, I was up and he, he, we were being prayed with. I remember falling on the Holy Spirit and there was a I got such a, a, an overabundance of joy. Mm -hmm. I couldn't contain the joy I got yeah. at that time. That was a, a, on a different trip. Uh -huh. But every time you come to Medjugorje, it's just, there's, there's more graces and, and blessings. Yes. And we're with a beautiful group, even though Jim was with us and we were sad when we were leaving without. Carmel and Mick have been oh, so, such lovely group leaders. We're blessed really to have uh -huh. Anna and, and the whole group and the children, you know. Mm -hmm. There's such joy and such, you know, camaraderie between us all. It's yes. really That's beautiful. how we have to come back to that, no? It's so much division in, in society and families. Yeah. And, and we made meetings. for love. Yeah, the prayer meetings are, are so, you know, it's giving people the chance to, you know, tell their testimonies. And it's, it's, it's a great. I love, you know, I love the whole week here. It flies too quick. Yeah. But you come back oh, and and God. amen. And what would you tell people at the end? Why come to Medjugorje one time? Uh, that, may that may come in the future. Yeah. To people who listen now have never been. Why should they come oh, here? Oh yeah, oh, they should come because our lady is calling. Well, 
she called me and <laughs> she called me and I wasn't doing very well. If you if you mm -hmm. if you hear you know, you have to be a little bit alert and open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit too, you know, and um, if she calls you be don't have any hesitation. That that would be my mm -hmm. idea, you know, that um it's such a great place to you know, it's it's mm -hmm. it's such a holy and beautiful place and the people here they're they're so they're so lovely and all the priests and everything and the confessional it's a confession of the world, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that until a few years ago and you know yeah, it's it's something we don't have in Ireland. Sometimes they don't even go into the confessionals anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of a general, or just maybe quickly up at the side of the altar. Mm -hmm. It's it's not the same. I know it's the same. It's it's God that's giving us absolution. I understand that part, but. But it's something different that you can talk. It's for free. You don't have to go to the psychiatrist to pay a lot of money. Oh, it's the no. priest and he has the yeah. power to forgive and okay. leave everything behind, yeah. no? Oh, I, got, I definitely got that in confession. Yeah, to be yeah. free and happy again it's now, all the burden. Yeah, leave it all behind. And Too much, yeah? Keep on not going. Not be holding on to any, you know, yeah. or not be guilty about, you know, just to... It's washed away and it's left and you just move on, live in the present, mm -hmm. live in the grace of God. Yes. And, you know. and two more questions. The, your husband was Pat. Pat is his name, yeah. no? He was happy. He saw the beach the, the, at the time. He was. He, he yes, but it wasn't going <laughs> to come back. <laughs> <laughs> Not a long he, enough he at the beach. I think, <laughs> yeah. he, no, I, yeah. I think he didn't get the, the grace. You know, like, uh -huh. I mean, he. Uh, for everybody different, you know? For everybody. everybody you know? Maybe. It may come again. Yeah. You, know, like, you say, knows? Pat, Tom is waiting. I want to do an yeah. interview with you, Pat. Come so come on. over. I want to meet you. Lovely wife you got. <laughs> and the second question is, you said listening to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. How, somebody's listening now and saying, what, what is she talking about? How can I listen to the prompting? It's so very hard to explain. Yeah. Um, but, you In, know, if we yeah. pray, um, pray and... Um, like calling on the Holy Spirit, like yes. sing to the Holy Spirit. I didn't sing before, but I had, yes. to, I had to sing to the Magnificat up in wow. up in, the, in Sherry Cabre. Uh -huh. um, and I had to, <laughs> I have to say, Jim was responsible for a lot of it because I I didn't sing. Mm -hmm. and of course, when we go to the prayer meeting, we're encouraged to to do that, and every, mm -hmm. you know, as much as we can, mm -hmm. and comfortable. And the Holy Spirit. Um, guides us and enlightens us but we have we need to ask him you know come and enlighten and guide me and strengthen me and you know console me mm -hmm. you know and yeah. give me your orders yes and then you know you get the inspiration somebody comes into your life a book uh, can be everything you yeah, know and, yeah. you, and you know it in the heart no that that's the answer to the prayer yes yeah yeah, yeah. same experience yes so Somebody yeah. says something, say, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Like and a revelation. Over here, there's people, you know. Yeah. Like, this, it's yeah. hard to explain. I mean, yes, it, yes. But it, you you know, will know it in the heart, but yeah. you have to ask him. Yes. Yeah. yes. Free will. God gave us free will. We can decide. Yeah. Yeah. True love gives free and will. And if you're in the, the, you know, living the commandments, mm -hmm. and living um, as best as you can, and mm -hmm. adhering to, you know, the, the five stones, or the mm -hmm. Recommends, I think you will heal, you will yeah. be open to the Holy Spirit. Amen. You won't be blocking the Amen. grace of God. And we repeat it's Bible reading, fasting, fasting. Wednesday and Friday, Holy Amen. Mass, confession, yeah. and the Eucharist, and, the, and, and um, praying from the heart. Yes. Yeah. Wow, what can I say? Thank you for this beautiful Thank interview. You. And that was a big surprise. <laughs>